Today I'm gonna explain how you can create your own top-notch cocktail bar worthy cocktails. And it's the same way that cocktail bars all over the world and myself come up with our own creations. And guess what? It's easier than you might think. So grab your shakers and your notebooks and let's get bacon. Let's do it. Let me tell you a little secret. A lot of the classic cocktails that we all love have one thing in common. They follow specific formulas. Once you understand these formulas, you can unlock a whole new world of cocktail creativity. I'm gonna explain a few of them and hopefully it will make sense to you. Let's start by talking about the base spirit. Let me explain. Let's say you have an old fashioned. Most of us would agree on whiskey, sugar, bitters, right? Except for maybe Wisconsin. They have their own recipes out there and whiskey being the base spirit. A standard recipe would look something like this. But what if we switch out whiskey for rum, or for tequila, or for any other spirit you would like? But let's take it even further. Let's split the two ounces into, let's say, mezcal and tequila. I know a bunch of you are now saying, that's already been done, Johan, and I know, but we're not done yet. What if we now take that spirit or combination of spirit and infuse it with something? Maybe some seasonal fruit, botanicals, maybe your favorite tea. Then all of a sudden we could have something pretty interesting, right? We're gonna get back to this, so stay with me here. I'm gonna give you another simple example. We have a gimlet, okay? Just like the one I made my first video here on YouTube. Once you understand this, it's very easy to like come up with your own stuff. Super versatile cocktail, gin, lime, sugar. The exact same thing as a daiquiri, just switch out the gin for rum. This time, we're gonna switch out the sugar for a different sweetener. Think maybe a cinnamon syrup or grenadine, which is a pomegranate syrup, or maybe honey or agave or a ginger syrup. Or what if we split the syrups into two different ones? Maybe ginger and cinnamon, hmm? Just like I do in this one. I'm a genius. The rye whiskey, cinnamon, and ginger go so well together, but then you have the raspberry just brighten things up and make it a little tutti fruity. Let's make one of these. See where I'm going with all of this? It's the Mr. Potato Head approach. You take a classic cocktail and you switch out an ingredient or two. Now, let's put these two techniques together. How about a whiskey sour? Usually an American whiskey, lemon, and simple syrup. We'll use scotch instead of American whiskey. Maybe change the simple syrup for honey. Wait. Let's do half honey and half ginger. Hmm, that sounds delicious. And then just to spice things up, maybe a little spritz of peaty scotch on top of the cocktail, just to give it an interesting nose. Many of you now know what I just made, the penicillin, a super popular cocktail created in the early 2000s. And you see how easy that was? And here's a plot twist for you. What if we take that scotch, infuse it with some chamomile tea? Would that taste good? Hmm, probably. And now back to the old fashioned as promised. Here's what Handshake Bar in Mexico City does. They infuse butter with mushrooms, and then they use this butter-mushroom mix to fat wash a bourbon, which I think is pretty sexy. Maple syrup to sweeten it, and walnut and Angostura bitters to season the cocktail. And they garnish it with some enoki mushrooms. Pretty cool, right? Oh, also, if you're enjoying this, do me a favor and hit that like button. Okay, one more style, the last word. This is a classic cocktail with four ingredients that are all equal parts. Gin, green chartreuse, maraschino, and lime. Many of you probably know a bunch of the modern variations of this herbaceous classic. Final Ward, Paper Plane, Naked and Famous, and so on. They are all a base spirit, two liqueurs, or what you would call modifiers, and lemon or lime juice. Here's what I did once. I made a cocktail at the bar where I work that had bourbon, maraschino, orange liqueur, and lemon juice. This isn't rocket science at all, but it turned out really good, and I was pretty confident it would since I know the formula and I knew the ingredients I used. I called it Express and Discard, and it somehow got a little bit of attention online, probably because it's so easy to make, which is key if you want your cocktail creations to reach the world or the universe. So give this a try. Grab a spirit, two modifiers, and a citrus and see what you can come up with. But the thing is, I'm not saying that this will work every time. You might have to do a little bit of homework to see what flavors work well together. Here's the pro tip of the day. Have a look in this book to see what flavors go well together. It's the shizzle. I know by now you probably have a bunch of ideas that you want to go try out. Let me just give you a couple more tips before you go create your masterpiece. Take that rum old fashioned you made with a pineapple syrup and put some interesting bitters in it. Or that tequila gimlet with cinnamon syrup and smack some rosemary in it. See what that's like. Point is, add some more flavors without messing with the sweetness and or alcohol content. When you use these techniques combined with fat washing, infusing ingredients, creative syrups, tinctures, bitters, etc., you open yourself up to an endless world of cocktail recipes. Anyway, I hope this inspired you. Just go nuts and let your imagination run free. I'll see you in the next video.